In this video, we're going to solve some homogeneous recurrence relations. So we have two here. Let's jump right into it. Our first one, an is equal to an minus 1 plus 6an minus 2. Our initial conditions are a0 is equal to 3 and a1 is equal to 6. So first we should start off by bringing everything to one side and making it equal to 0. So an minus an minus 1 minus 6an minus 2 is equal to 0. Our second step is to find the characteristic equation. So this is just going to be n squared minus n minus 6 is equal to 0. Now we can factor this. We're going to get n minus 3 times n plus 2 is equal to 0. So then we know that our n is going to be either 3 or negative 2. So this tells us that our solution, a n of h, is going to be some constant alpha times 3 to the n plus another constant beta times negative 2 to the n. So now we just need to solve for alpha and beta. So let's take a look here. I could probably do this all on the right side. So a0 is equal to 3 and a1 is equal to 6. So if we plug in 0 for n, we're going to get alpha times 3 to the 0, which is 1, plus beta times negative 2 to the 0, which is 1. So 3 is equal to alpha plus beta. Our 6 is going to be equal to 3 alpha, since we have alpha times 3 to the 1, and then minus 2 beta, because again, that's beta times negative 2 to the 1. Okay, so let's solve. Well, the first thing we can do is we can try to get rid of our beta in the first equation. So let's actually write this as a matrix. So let's write this 3, negative 2, 6. I've been doing the linear algebra course. So actually, I would recommend, if you don't know the matrix form, you watch the first three or four videos in the linear algebra series, because this will make coefficient solving much, 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 much easier. OK. So essentially, uh, the first column are alphas, the second column are the betas, and the third column is the coefficient. So what I can do is I can take the second row, I can leave the first row the same, and I can subtract three of the first row from it. So we're going to get three minus three is equal to zero, negative two minus three is equal to negative five, and six minus nine is going to be negative three. Okay, so what we have here is that negative 5 beta is equal to negative 3. So beta is going to be equal to 3 fifths. So then that means that if we take alpha plus beta is equal to 3, this means that alpha plus 3 fifths is equal to 3, which means that our alpha is going to be 12 fifths. So if we substitute this back into our equation, a n is going to be 12 fifths times 3 to the n plus 3 fifths times negative 2 to the n. So what's the best thing we can do to check this? Well, we don't know what a2 is, so we should calculate a2. Okay, a2 is going to be a n minus 1, which is a1, so that's 6 plus 6 times a n minus 2, so 6 times a0, which is 18, so a2 is going to be 24. Let's make sure that we get 24 by substituting 2 into this. Okay, so a2 is going to be 12 over 5 times 3 squared, which is 9, plus 3 over 5 times negative 2 squared is 4. This will be, so 12 fifths times 9 plus 3 fifths times 4. Okay, this is going to be 108 over 5 plus 12 over 5, which is equal to 120 over 5, which is equal to 24. So this should be the correct solution. We can check for more just to be safe, uh, but if it works for the next variable or the next number in the sequence, then it should be good. Okay, that's question number one. Question number two a n is equal to negative 6 a n minus 1 minus a n minus 2. Initial conditions are 3 and negative 3. So uh, 
let's do the first part here. Let's just calculate a2 right off the bat. So be negative 6 times negative 3 minus 9 times 3. So this is going to be 18 minus 27, which is equal to negative 9. So when we check, we're looking for negative 9. So let's take everything over to one side. We have a n plus 6 a n minus 1 plus 9 and minus 2 is equal to 0. This means our characteristic equation is n squared plus 6n plus 9 is equal to 0. So when we factor this out, this is the same thing as n plus 3 squared equal to 0. So our n is going to equal negative 3 with multiplicity 2. So this means that our solution a n is going to be alpha times 3 to the n plus beta n times 3 to the n. Sorry, this should be negative 3. Negative 3 to the n. Catch that mistake early. Okay, so again, if we have multiplicity 2, we have to keep adding our n's here so that way these are not the same value. Okay. So, let's test here. So a0 and a1. Well, a0 is equal to, let's go back up and check it, a0 is 3 and a1 is negative 3. Okay, so 3, a0 is going to be alpha plus 0 because we have an n here. So that'll be alpha times 1 plus 0. a1 negative 3 is going to be negative 3 alpha minus 3 beta. Okay, well, we know alpha is 3, so what we can do is we can substitute in 3 for this. So negative 3 is going to be negative 9 minus 3 beta. Let's take the 9 over to the left side. So 6 is equal to negative 3 beta, which means that negative 2 is equal to beta. So we have alpha is equal to 3 and beta is equal to negative 2. Okay, let's plug that into our formula here. So a n is going to equal 3 times negative 3 to the n plus our beta is negative 2. This will be negative 2 times n, negative 3 to the n. We can factor out the negative 3 to the n to simplify this a little bit. And we're going to get 3 minus 2n. So remember, we said that a2 was equal to negative 9. Let's check to make sure that works. So a2 going to be negative 3 squared times 3 minus 2 times 2. So 3 squared is equal to 9, and 3 minus 4 is equal to negative 1, so a2 is negative 9. So very good chance that our formula here is going to be correct. Okay, so that's the end for homogeneous recurrence relations. If you have any more questions, leave them in the comments below, and I'll answer them the best that I can.